What's going on guys, it's your boy Midnight Man, welcome back to the channel for another video! Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen, I am showing you, finally showing you, my gaming streaming setup. I'm saying everything down to the nitty gritty when it comes to the equipment aspect of what I use to record videos on this channel and also make gameplay videos and stream all that cool stuff. We're gonna break it down right here in this video. So I hope you guys are ready for a good one. We're gonna make this one chill. Let's just start off with what I'm filming on right now. This is the iPhone 11. I'm using the front facing camera, 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is what most of my videos are in. So that's what I'm filming this in. Looks pretty good. I like looking at the camera more than I like looking at the screen. Somebody mentioned that to me in a video long ago, probably like five years ago, which is when I did my last setup video that I was looking way too much in the, in the, in the LCD screen instead of in the camera lens. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I, I should look at you directly instead of off to the side the whole video because that just looks weird. <laughs> okay, let me flip the phone around so I can show you guys what I'm looking at and what I'm working with. All right, here's the whole digs here. Turn my chair around, pull it out a little bit. Let's start off with what's on the right here. These are these triangle light panels. I have them configured with my phone so I can have this be different colors or whatever. It just sets the mood of the room and it just makes things look really nice. And these are just cool to look at in general. And it's finally something on my walls because I, I don't really have anything on my walls. It's very, very, it's a prison almost. It's just like a little jail. I also have lights behind my dresser here, uh, which is really, really convenient. And it also makes the room very nice and lit up at certain colors. So over here, let's start off uh, at my desk with the camera I am using. This is my main go-to camera when it comes to any of the regular uploads I'll do on this channel. This is the Canon M50. And then right now, this is the main lens I use for the most part, the, uh, EO, uh, the AF-M 22 millimeter uh, lens right here by Canon. It's a really solid lens because I get that nice blurry background when I'm filming my videos and it just looks high quality. And on top, we got the Comica mic, which it's, it's not a bad mic. I don't have the Rode, but I, I don't know. I'm thinking about upgrading this. We'll see in the future, but it, it, it works for now. Below the camera, I have my notebook here so I can just take notes about what videos I might be working on. Just like with this video, I have like some of the, the items that I'm going to discuss here with you guys just so I remember them correctly and I don't forget anything. So that's always really handy to have here. This back here is a USB-C multi-port hub. So it it's a, compatible with the Ethernet cable, uh, three USB slots, an SD card, and also HDMI port here so I can connect my monitor right here which is a Dell, I believe it's, yeah, 22 inch monitor, you know, very good for connecting my laptop to, which right here is the MacBook Pro, 15 inch 2017 laptop, 16 gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of, um, of the graphics. It's been a beast for me so far, really great to edit on, you know, can't complain too much. Right now I'm running um, OBS right here, got some Fortnite going that I could stream, and then I have just my regular stream setup, so I would be able to see uh, like maybe like how many viewers are in the stream, like what is my stream looking like right there. And then over here, I'd see the chat coming through. If you guys would like it, I'm thinking about doing a video going into detail of my OBS setup. So what I have is my sources, my scenes, my special configurated settings, all that stuff. So if you want to see that, hit this video with the thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll make it happen. Oh, we just got a sub that come through in my stream alert. Thank you, Alex Klein, Klein, Klein Hansel. Thank you, bro. Anyways, behind my laptop here, I have a nifty, little nifty uh, compartment here. I got my uh, older capture card that I used to use, the HD60S. Now I use the Elgato HD60S Plus, which I'll show you guys in just a second. There's a fan in there. This thing's pretty cool because I can record, let's say, my iPhone screen in a really high quality with my Elgato, so that's uh, pretty dope. Oh, and one more cool thing in here, I have this iPhone flash drive, so I don't have to use a computer to transfer any files from, let's say, my PlayStation to my phone, so this thing is dope. Speaking of my phone, this is it right here. This is my iPhone 8 Plus. It's my main phone that I use. I got Stream Deck up here right now, so I've been playing with that. Probably a tutorial to come with that in the future as well. But but check this, guys. I can just press this button here, 
and uh, it'll just pop up on my screen, my Twitter at Game Midnight. Go hit it up, hit it up with a follow. That is so dope, honestly. And I have the supported creator key in there too. So boom, and then it'll pop up there. Like that is so awesome. Like, Stream Deck has so many features and, and so many uses that you could do with it. It's, there's a lot to learn, but something that I'll get better with in the future. A little bit behind my computer is this USB port. So I have it kind of <laughs> taped down there just so it doesn't move anywhere. But I had some ports here just so I can charge up my devices while I'm at my desk. So that's really convenient. Right next to that is my Blue Yeti microphone. This is my main mic that I use for my streams, for my recordings, at my desk, all those things. Very high quality, very good microphone. But shout out to my grandparents because they gifted me this microphone for Christmas about five years ago. and. I've been using it ever since, so love you guys so much. Thank you for just helping me get this channel jump started the right way. The microphone I have next to that is this Fifine microphone. This company actually sent me the microphone to do a video on. I compared it with the Yeti actually, so that was a pretty fun video to do. And, I, and I've kept the microphone ever since because I've been using it so people that I'm playing with can hear me in party chat. The TV that I play my games on is an LG 20 inch full HD TV. It's been solid don't think there's any reason to upgrade it I, I would like to get like a 4k tv that that'd be pretty sick more so than a monitor because monitors focus more on getting that accurate pinpoint fast reaction time when you're gaming versus a tv it focuses more on the colors and the contrast and just giving you a better viewing experience but the problem right now most 4k tvs are huge and not small and compact and i don't necessarily want a 4k monitor right now so i'm cool with what i got Right above that is my 1080p Logitech webcam, which is plugged into my laptop right now via that USB-C port that I just showed you earlier. Um, it is connected with a uh, multi-mount pole by Elgato. So th shout out to Elgato for sending me the multi-mount pole. And I have that weighted on this base back here, just so it you know doesn't move any anywhere. Like the original attachment that this came with camped onto my desk, but my desk doesn't have a, like a very thick edges it's it's you see how there's not much room to clamp things on the edge with the clamp on my desk this pole would always just fall to my wall so the weighted base has just come in really clutch next to that we got a ring light which is very very useful guys lighting for videos is so important just watch how this lights up my face i'll show you in a second not too bright right now this wouldn't make for that high quality of a video but watch when i turn this baby on boom look at that lighting I can even change the settings on it to make it a little bit more yellow. This is white, yellow. There's like three, like bluish. And, yeah, there's three different color settings. And I can also change the uh, the brightness. So I can make it a little less dark. Or I can go ahead and max it out. Again, right there. Look at that. And this lighting is only 40 bucks. You don't have to get the Elgato key lights, which are in the hundreds of dollars. This works just as good. All right, next here we got the PlayStation 4. The OG I'm not using the Pro, don't have the Pro, don't need the Pro, gonna wait for the PS5, really pumped for that, but this has been rock solid for me for the longest time. The Fifine mic I showed you guys right there, that is what's plugged in to the PlayStation right now to uh, be able to chat with people. And then here's my controller, here is some headphones that I'll use to plug into the chat link cable which is connected right here. So I can, uh, you know, listen to the gameplay via the controller if I would like, and also get it recorded at the same time. And this is just a speaker right here, the Uzu, the Uzut speaker, in case I need to just jam out in my room. So connected to this chat link cable down here, oh my, oh my, ah, ah, is the HD 60s Plus. This is my main. This right here is the main capture card I use to record all the gameplay and live streams on this YouTube channel. It has been a great piece of equipment. That Elgato is also directly connected to my laptop via this Godspin USB-C to USB-C cable. So I'm not using a dongle or the USB cable that came in the box because that would just slow down my video connection. For people using Windows and Mac, I honestly can't recommend a better capture card right now. Elgato did just release the 4K 60S Plus, but right now it's only compatible with Windows. This is the chair I sit in for hours upon hours. It's an Air Mesh Staples chair. And if we move this out of the way, shout out to my friend Dan for hooking me up with this 50,000 subscriber plaque. 
I'm gonna keep grinding here and we'll get that 100,000 subscriber plaque eventually. It is really a big thanks to you guys that I've grown to the point to where I am now, from the likes, the shares. It's just been so helpful. So thank you guys so much for all that support. One last thing I wanna show you guys and it's regarding my internet setup. Right here is my router from Xfinity. And down here you can probably see this is my ethernet cable. Have an extender for it. So then I can pull that connection all the way back behind my desk here. And I'm gonna put some B-roll up on screen right now. I use an electrical powered ethernet switch so that I can get the same strength connection that's coming directly from my router equally to my PlayStation 4 and also my laptop. So there you guys have it. That is my streaming recording setup here in 2020. What did you guys think? of the setup tour. I haven't done one of these since I had 500 subscribers. So it was kind of refreshing to do one of these again. Mm. If there's anything specific you want me to show you regarding this setup or to do a tutorial on or to point you to the right video that I might have already done, let me know in the comment section below or hit me up in the DMs on uh, Instagram, Twitter, that's where you can find me and we can chat for a little bit. But thank you guys for tuning in to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be a Q&A, by the way. So stay tuned if you want to ask some questions ahead of time. Just something coming down the line. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.